Hello there, this is techvid.net once again with your host iTech63 here and today we are going to be looking at inserting our movies or DVDs into, into an iPod Touch or iPhone. Okay, so I've got my iPod Touch connected right now and it's only an 8GB one so um, that, but that's still fine because a standard DVD is only around 700 megabytes. So yes, we're fine. Okay, so the first piece of software we are going to need to download is called iTunes. You can get this off of the Apple website over here. So just click on the link in the description and as you can see it's got the iTunes right here and you just download it. And no, you do not need a Mac for this because it's been alternized for a PC as well. So, if we just open this up, you need to sync your device to iTunes. And as you may know, as soon as if you get when you get your iPod Touch and you plug it into your PC um, or you turn it on, it says connected up to iTunes. So, yeah. So this is the iTunes image. This is the icon. And as you can see, here it is. Um, well, mine's not connected up at the moment, as I thought it was. It's on charge, actually. So I'm just going to connect it in via USB, of course. And it's almost in there. And here it is. It's syncing now. Just give it a few seconds, and as you can see over here, it's well up here. It says syncing Vada's iPod, and down on the devices, it says Vada's iPod. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for this to completely finish syncing. And it's almost done. Okay, so now iPod sync is complete. Go that over to the devices, click on your brother's iPod or whatever you call yours, and as you can see, it, it will come up with the summary. You can just go over to f the films um, tab, and I'm just going to keep cut color screen. And over here, you must select these sync films here, and automatically include all films or the three most recent or whatever you want to include okay so this is my library over here this is where we are going to insert the movie so as you can see I've got Sorority Row on it and I've also got this on my iPod okay so to actually convert your media you are going to need Magic DVD Ripper so if I just open this up and show you it um, you will need a torrent um, client such as uTorrent to download this and the file will be in the description so you can download it and everything ok so once this uh, appears you over here it has the output section just select the profile and as iPod so it's the second down split mode infinite or you can have it by chapter actually yeah you can have it by chapter and I'm just going to call the file name Sorority Bray Bray once again and now we are going you need to insert your DVD so if I just open it up well I'll open up my DVD drive and insert the film I'll just give it a few seconds and I'll be right back once it is loaded up Okay, so the progress bar will appear now. It's just analysing the film. And over here has the source. Still loading up, so now my Windows Media Player will appear. So just gonna close Windows Media Player. Because we don't need it now. But as you can see it does work. But it will go slow as I'm using Camtasia Studio. Okay, so now we need to start our sync. And you can change any other part if you want, but for now we're not going to. So start your sync. Uh, oh yes, you must change the destination. So I'm not going to sync it all completely. Because it does take uh, uh, almost half, about half an hour. 
so I can go to my documents and go to videos and as you can see it will be here so all we have to do is drag this over to iTunes and drop it down just drop it into the iTunes film section of the library and it won't overwrite this as mine's it's already on here so um, so that's about it really and well that was just how to insert a DVD or movie into your iPod touch and or iPhone um, if you notice my Windows 7 operating system now it's Windows 7 Ultimate so check out my ne next tutorial on how to get Windows 7 Ultimate for absolutely nothing and check out my over overall review on the iPod Touch 8GB until then see you later